Hello. Let's see. Hi guys. This is Donna Singleton. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am here today to do the paper pumpkin. This is the Ho 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 October 2022 paper pumpkin. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to open it in front of you and if you're watching please say hello. Um, I know I owe some goodness. I just grab my scissors. I know I owe some cards but I'm going to have to do it next time. I am so busy trying to cut for my holiday class that I completely forgot to pull a name for last week's Facebook Live. But I will. So, in any case, I am opening this month's paper pumpkin. This is the October one, so you can't get it anymore. The November one is going to be, I think, coordinating gift tags. This is supposedly the... Um, isn't that a cute box? the box this is supposed to be Christmas cards so I thought I would share with you but I am going to pull a name for I'm gonna take all the people that comment and I will pull a name oh why can't wait to look inside um, I will pull a name and someone can pick one of these cards to take I will send it to you and I will pull a name for last week and I know I have the, the week before I'm sorry I've just been so busy cutting for that class and um, I had a studio class Wednesday night and I have a craft fair on, if you're local, October 29th at the Tewksbury High School in Tewksbury, Mass. Hi, Susan Lewis. How are you? Um, and then I have two scrapbook weekends that I have to vend at. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I've just been very busy lately. But I will pull names for last week's and this week's. And um, so leave a comment whether it's here on Facebook or when I upload this to YouTube afterward. You can leave a comment on um, YouTube if you're watching there. And if you're watching on YouTube, please hit subscribe. I appreciate it. I know you can go on and you can look at my YouTube without subscribing. But I really would like you to subscribe so that I can build my channel. It does help with things and my business. So I would appreciate it. Okay. On to the paper pumpkin. Okay, so let's see. This is an ad. Let's see. Do more crafting. So you can scan this to shop North Pole Saks add-on. Oh, look at those pretty bags. That's cute. Oh, that is so cute. I'm going to have to get some of those. Oh, my goodness. All right, so next month, this is, let's see. Yes, next month, it says, did you know that the Ho-Ho-Ho kit, which is a one coordinates with the November's from the North Pole gift tag kit. So if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, um, you will want to sign up. This is my um, Paper Pumpkin subscription sign up link. <laughs> I will put it on the... Um... Hi, Karen. Um... I will put it on the Facebook Live afterward, and I'll also put it on the YouTube so that if you want to click on this, if you subscribe by November 10th, because you have to subscribe by the 10th of any month to get that month, subscribe, subscribe by November 10th, you'll be able to get November's kit, which are the um, gift tags, which they, they do wonderful with these Christmas ones. All right, so let's look. Let me grab a piece of white paper white cardstock so I can show you the stamp set. So if you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, it's a subscription that you can get. You can just buy it that one month or you could subscribe. Um, you can set it up with your credit card so it comes automatically. You don't have to think about it. Or you can buy, um, you have to go to paperpumpkin.com to sign up. Well, my right here, this, this link to sign up. But um, if you want to buy a prepaid subscription, you can go to DonnaSingleton.StampinUp.net. Um, I don't have my little thingy here because it's past the 15th of the month, and I don't have a second half of the month. Um, I do have a code, but I don't have a, a giveaway. I don't have a free offer because of my holiday class that's coming up. I'm, I'm busy getting that all taken care of. So... 
but I will send you. If you order from me between the 16th through the end of the month, um, I'm trying to think, what was my host code? I do have one. Hang on a sec. As I'm talking, I will get it for you because um, I do have one and I will give it to you. So let's see. And I can write it right on this piece of paper. So this is October. If you shop with me now, this isn't the host code for my um, holiday class. That's something completely different because if you're taking my holiday class, that is um, that's going to be a separate host code. And the people that shop with me for that, their name goes into some drawings for prizes. So my next host code for October 16th through the 31st, I will be sure to send you a little gift. I don't know what it'll be yet. So it'll be USQ37R. GR. Okay. And that's at, um, my name, Donna Singleton dot stampin up dot net. Okay. So that's shop shop with code. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I wasn't thinking, like I said, I'm so busy getting ready. Thank goodness. I have a couple of friends that helped me do the cutting for this class. Okay, this is the stamp set. Back to the paper pumpkin. So if you're shopping with me between the 16th and 31st, that's the host code. And I'll be sure to have something, um, I don't know, maybe I'll send you an embellishment pack or, I don't know, maybe you'll get into a raffle or something. We'll figure something out. Okay, so this is the stamp set. We have a Merry Hope, and then we have a Ho Ho Ho. We have this, oh, I like this one, the Sleigh with the Reindeer. We have Delivered Two. We have Tis the Season to be Jolly. We have Christmas Holiday. And Tis, uh, let's see, Santa, Snowflake, some stars, Holly Jolly, then Santa Claus is coming to town. I love this. And what's nice about the Paper Pumpkin is that these are exclusive stamp sets, and um, you... You can use them, you know, once you're done making all your cards, you can use them for other things. This is great. And I do have a paper pumpkin tutorial. So when somebody joins and I put it, oh, goodness gracious, I had it right here. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. I have, oh, here's one. Here's the one from, so I have a, a tutorial that you will get, um, if you're a paper sub sub subscriber of mine, that's the, the I give you an alternative um, card or project, and I'm doing this with three other demos. So you'll get a a PDF emailed to you when you subscribe under me. All right. So okay. So stamp set. You always get an ink spot, and this one is early espresso. I like to use my full pack. Let me grab mine. And I like to use my full pad if I have it. But this is a great way. Paper Pumpkin is a great way to test out the colors. Because if you don't happen to have early espresso, you might try it and um, like the color. And then you can order it later on. I love this. like Christmas. Opening a Christmas gift. So, so cute. This box is... So I can get it out. And I'll put away this box. I'm so excited. I love one of the Christmas ones. Okay, so. <gasps> Yay, look at them. How cute they are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, I want to carefully. I think I'll do it on this side so I don't wreck the. Just in case. I don't know. I get so excited with the Christmas ones. Even though I've been, I've been designing Christmas projects for my holiday class, which today, by the way, is the last day to register and <laughs> last week I did this I showed this and it's not the stamp set because um when I originally did this I was planning to decorate with happiness stamp set hi Ellie how are you you love this yeah you got this paper pumpkin it is going to be a good one I can't wait to put them together when I originally did this, I was planning on using the third stamp set was Decorate with Happiness. And then it went on um, unorderable because they ran out. So I had to switch. So I switched to Trimming the Tree. So the, it's, it's, um, so instead it's 
trimming the tree. And um, I just never changed my flyer. But anyway, so it's trimming the tree, brightest glow, and jingle, jingle, jingle. You have to use your own stamps, your own ink, and um, your own adhesive, of course. But everything else you'll get in your kit. And um, I only have a couple kits left. Hi, Jerry from Derry. Um, you I only have a couple kits left. Today's the last day. So um, I know it says re registration was October 17th, but I changed it today. And um, I've been taking a few more because I have enough to make a couple of extra kits. So make sure you get in touch with me. Um, and I will send you the link because I can't post a link here, but, um, I will send you the link to sign up for the class to register. So it's $75. If you want it shipped to you, it's $15 extra and it's a to go. We're doing it in a um, Facebook live. Um, parts of it may be on zoom, but we'll have some games and prizes and there's going to be pillow gifts and you're going to make 27 cards plus, um, three kind of gift type items, like um, something that you can make to give to somebody, like a gift card holder or a gift bag or a gift box. And then we're going to do a 3D item, which is so really cute. I can't wait for you to see it. And what else? Oh, six Christmas tags. So I can send you the link and you can, I do have it on my blog, so you can go back there and look at donnascreativespace.com. But I can send you the link so you can... Um, get more details because um, I have like a list of the inks that you'll need and other supplies. But yes, trimming the tree instead of decorate with happiness because decorate with happiness, I started designing with it and then it went unavailable. Okay, so that's that. I think that's all I have for business. Just that. All right, and now the paper pumpkin. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we have these cute little adhesive dots. They look kind of like a snowy white. They're shiny. A big full sheet of dimensionals. That's nice. All right, so let's see. We have the the printed written instructions, right? And it's all like pictorial so that you don't have to do any reading and it just tells you what to use for adhesive. All right, so we have, oh, we're making nine cards. So here's, oh, look how cute. Here's three, you get three envelopes like this. And, oh, this is so pretty. Three envelopes with this inside. And, oh, let's see. Oh, these are like a light blue pool party, I would say. So it's not a white envelope. See, I, for a minute, I thought that it was just the inside colored, but the envelope itself is colored. And then these are striped inside, but look it. They put the stripe along the bottom of the envelope. That's kind of like... Um, when we put that on the, when we have a little piece of designer paper left over, and we put it on the inside of the white, on the white mat on the inside of cards. Okay, so those are the envelopes. Jeez, I get excited just on the envelopes alone. Okay, so now we have card bases. So we have this maroon cherry cobbler, I would say that is. And I'm going to just take one out. And then the next card base are these crumb cake. I'll leave one out because we're gonna I'm gonna make one of each card and then the next base is like a pool party base all right then we have look how pretty these are I guess it's like this it's supposed to be sky and snow oh how cute I'm gonna I'm gonna separate as we do this because this way I'll go a little faster and I won't take up too much of your time on this beautiful Friday I don't know what it's like where you are but it's absolutely gorgeous here here I'm in Massachusetts um, just about I don't know 25 minutes north of Boston but it is sunny and the air is crisp all right so I'm gonna just take apart so we have three of these vellum I think it's it says ho 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 you can't really see but it's um, the punch out is ho 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 it must be going behind some cardstock all right so I'm just gonna put that aside just trying to take the things out as I go. So then we have some boxes, some sentiment blocks. This one has a very faint little stitch mark. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Let's see. All right, that's very faint stitch stitching. And then we have some plain, a little plain block here. 
and let's see we have oh this oh those are plain i thought it was a long one but those are the plain ones they give you extra and then we have this long green one very cute all right so everything is is in your paper pumpkin so you can um oh look at these die cuts look how pretty those are so that goes with that card and they got the white stitching on the side you see that very pretty oh that goes with this card i'm trying to no that's right i got that right i got them in the wrong order i'm trying to set them up for the with the pictures <clears throat> so this one look at this goodness it's not pretty <clears throat> excuse me it's it is gorgeous in iowa warm in the 60s and getting in the low 70s sunny oh nice that sounds wonderful Karen. i think tomorrow is going to be really warm here too i think we're supposed to get one last day of um nice weather i say one last day but it could be more all right we have oh look at the little santa head look at so we must be stamping his face on there and then we have the joy little die cuts I don't know if we need the O, but I'm going to punch it out. And what else do I need? Okay, we have a pool party banner that looks like it has a trim of Bermuda Bay. And then we have this. We have two striped. I think we're going to punch out both because it looks like I'm going to need a short one for this card and the long one for the, the Santa card. And then we have, oh, what is this? Do we need this frame, the inside or the outside? I don't know what we need here, but, because I'm just punching out without looking at the instructions. I'm gonna take this whole piece, but we might only need the frame. I don't know yet. And I think that's all I need on that piece. So we have three sheets of that. So we end up having two, four, six Santas, and we only need, oh no, we're doing two cards. So we need a Santa. Oops, we need a Santa for this. He's the Santa on two different cards. All right, that's trash. And then here we have glue dots. So they give us the glue dots. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's all cut out for us. Look at ho, ho, ho. Oh, this is going to sit right on top of that vellum. This is great. Look at that ho, ho, ho. It's going to go on that card. And then we have Mary. And Mary is going to go, I love this paper pumpkin. And then we, so that's, so we have three ho-ho-hos and three Marys. Because we're making three of everything, right? And then we have, look at these. Oh, they, they sell something similar to this. These are snowflakes. And it looks like we need the really big one on, be gentle when you pull them apart, on that one. And then it looks like a medium size, two small ones. Oh wait, these are the small over here. So a medium one on, that's the big one. A medium one on the Ho 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 card. And then um, two a medium and two small. I think I'm doing this right. Medium and two small on the Joy card. So let me see, that should leave me, I should have, oh, I do, I have one, two, three, four more for the other two cards. One, two, three, yeah, they've given you plenty to do all the cards that you need to do. That's pretty, and then that's just a piece of chipboard. So that's that, so oh, I think we got everything out of the box now. So let me put all this to side. I do need, don't need that, I just need the directions. Okay. Yay! I'm so excited. You need a couple of blocks. In your first paper pumpkin, you're going to get a, a block size D. It'll be this size, but it'll be like half the um, thickness. They give you a thin block for you to use. And if you like doing them... Hi, Brenda. You got yours yesterday? Great. It is a... It, oh, I can't wait to make these. It looks like a fun box. So I am going to... Let's see. Start making one, right? Let's go right to it. All right, we're going to do the first one that they came up with. And we it says to stamp the Santa face. And I know we need one for this card. So we're going to stamp two and get him out of the way. And I'm going to pull out my stamp and Pierce mat. And let me get a piece of scrap paper. 
so that I can, this is just printer paper, just scrap, so that I don't get any ink on my, and I need my memento, no, 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 I'm sorry, we're using the espresso. So the early espresso came with it. I am using my big pad. You can use the small one, or if you have this ink, you can use the big one. So we are stamping, we're stamping Christmas on, we're stamping the Santa head, and then we're stamping the word Christmas. So let me get those two stamps out. Cute, this is very cute. And now I need another. So I have another, I have a skinny one from Stampin' Up that, I don't know where I got it, but it must've been in a kit somewhere along the line. Now, um, I am going to, gosh, let me go grab one thing from the other room. Sorry, I had to go get my scrubber because I had a class the other night, so these are out in the other room. It always seems like it looks it looks like Stampin' Up has exploded in my house because I have um, I like to clean these before I use them just to make sure they're nice and clean. Okay, so let me grab those two Santa heads. And a trick for doing on the Santas, since we have to aim them, I am going to remove my paper from behind because I'm not stamping over. But this way you can see the outline of the Santa. Hi, Kareen, how are you? You're still waiting on yours? Oh, I bet you'll be there any day now because they usually come out around now. I got mine, I'd say, just a couple of days ago. So I have inked up with the early espresso and I am going to, I think putting it on something dark, like my mat here, gives it, gives you an outline to go by. Okay. And then I'm going to probably have to peel it off with my nail. Yes. Yay. Oh, he came out cute. Uh, oh, I got, look at what I did. I got it all over the beard. I think my early espresso is kind of. Let me push that in. I'm going to push that in and then clean it a little bit just so I don't have any oil for my fingers. There. Oh, that's better. Be a little more gentle, Don. All right. So now I'm going to stamp this one. What a cute Santa. <laughs> I love it. You know what I'm going to do is I am going to, before I go any further, because I have it out. I'm going to stamp these other ones just because I, I'm out, I'm doing it. I might as well get that done because I'm going to give one of these cards away when I take your names, whoever's commenting. It is a cute Santa, Karen. And I'm going to just do all of these, get them done real quick because I'm going to give one away. Oh, that one's a little off, but that's okay. Oh, I got this. I'm pressing too hard. Gentle, Donna, gentle. Slow down. I can make sure you get this lined up. Okay, one more. Oh gosh, look at the beard. I don't want to use that. I should not have inked up my pad before I did this. It is just too juicy. Okay. All right, so all my Santas, all my Santas are stamped. And you could always, I need two, so leave those two out. Those are the two that came up the best, I think. Actually, let me do this guy. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna leave the ink out because I'm sure we'll need it again. Oh yeah, we need to do the Christmas. So the Christmas is going on that little skinny strip. Which one are we making first? This one here? Yes. So this is that little skinny strip and it's gonna fit right on there. Oh my goodness. Oh, did I clean this? Yes, I did. Maybe if I do on the very edge. And I'm gonna stand up for this one. Oh, my ink, my pad is so juicy. I hope this comes out. Oh yes, it did. But you know what, if your pad's juicy, I'll show you. 
If you just inked it and you're having some trouble because it's too too wet, take your take um you could use the side of a block. In fact, I'll use a block cuz it come off easier. And just pull the ink with the side of your block away from the center. If you've inked up and you got too much ink and and then make sure you just just wipe that down with a a tissue and you can rinse it off in the water with some water. But that will help when you go to do um, some of your stamping. It just takes away, it doesn't do anything to your ink pad. You're just pushing around the, the, the ink. And um, I'll show you, I'm gonna do another one. And I mean, it's been a little bit of time. I Usually I push it away and then I stamp it up. See, now I don't have as much ink on this. My head might, might have just gotten in the way and I might have just done it off camera. Oh, see how better that one is? So I am going to, I'm gonna do the other ones. So I only need three, but they've given me four. So that's good in case I mess up. And maybe I'll get three good ones because that first one had a lot of ink. So use that trick. If you just inked up your ink pad and um, yeah, that's better. So can you see what I mean? This one had too much ink. The top one had too much ink on my on uh, my pad so I pushed the ink away and stamped it again and the word Christmas is so much clearer because I didn't have a lot of ink on my pad and then on my stamp okay so I'm gonna use these I only need one so I'm gonna put the other ones back with everything else nice okay I'm gonna close this just while we finish this card because I tend to I don't know I tend to draw things in it all right so it is saying so it tells you that use a little ink spot and stamp those two things right and now it wants us to put dimensionals on the back of this so I'm gonna get out the dimensionals it's a huge huge thing of dimensionals so I'm gonna put it in the corners make sure you're not gonna see from the front all right make sure that yep that's good and it said one in the middle, kind of in the middle, this one here, and then down here, like that, and over here. All right, you just don't wanna see them. And we're gonna take our card base, share. Oh, thank you for sharing. Kareen says, I saw a demo use the Stamparatus and Punch. That is an awesome idea. I've, I've seen that too. That's a great idea. You punch out what Karina is, Karin is saying is that you punch out, you use the punch out, right? Put this in your stamparatus, right? And then you put your stamp centered on it where you know it's got to go. And then you close your stamparatus so the stamp is stuck to the top of the stamparatus, right? And that way when you stamp it, you can always put that, that center, the next face right in there. You don't have to use all different ones, just one and you'll get a good punch, a good stamp every time. That's that's a way of doing a lot of things that um, you have to stamp multiple. That's what's great about the stamp for us. All right, so this is going right on top of the other crumb cake. Just like this. Okay, and all right, so now it wants us to take that big snowflake this is really pretty. See this? Can you see the iridescence on it as I tilt it? Maybe not. I don't know. Sometimes you can't see it on the camera. But it's really pretty. So it's telling us to put a glue dot on the back of this. And let's see. Where is... I'm using my little pointer because I don't see my take your pick tool. So I'll use one of these. Is it in here? Oh, here it is. I got my take your pick tool. I use my take your pick tool... I, once I learned how to use the glue dots that come on the sheets like this, I just love using my take your pick tool. Oh, this was um, an old stamp and pierce tool, piercing tool, not stamps, um, a piercing tool. You can use the same thing, but this way um, you just put pick it up, put it down, and then you can use the same point to just peel off the backing just like this, Doot, and the backing comes off. 
And so that's all ready to go. And then we need two, two dimensionals for that. Now it is saying to put this down first. I guess I could take this away for now. We're going to put this down over here, right like this. That's so pretty. And then the Santa, not yet. All right, then we're gonna take this blue thing here. We're gonna put the word Merry. So they, they're they telling us to put blue dots um, behind in spots on the Merry. So you wanna put it where Let's see, I'm gonna go this way, where the glue dot does not overlap. So find some spots. It's funny, these glue dots are a little bigger than they usually are. They tend to give us these tiny glue dots. I have some here, see how small they are? I like the little ones better for putting on, um, on the words, but these will be good. We'll make sure. All right, and then just press them down. And then we'll take those off. That's our take your pick tool. I never liked using these glue dots. They drove me nuts and I would always throw them away and use my um, regular glue, you know, the glue dots that come on the roll, these here. But once I realized that using my, I'm just using my paper, take your pick tool to move the glue away from I don't know if you can see that, but it was overlapping in a couple spots. So once you, once I learned how to use the, um, the take your pick tool, this is so pretty. Look at this. And this is just going to go on here. Oh my God. Look how pretty that is on the pool party. And then it is saying, let me get rid of these now. But wasn't that, didn't that look easy using your take your pick tool? All right. So the Santa... It's saying it wants us to put, let's see, the Santa's going to go on first, next to the snowflake like this, right, like that, I guess. Look how cute, it's so cute. And then this is going to go on here, but it said just to put the um, dimensionals on one side. So I'm going to put them on this side, like that because the rest is gonna sit up on top of the Santa, like on his beard, so it doesn't need it there. This is so cute, guys. I hope you guys have one of these. It's a little higher. It's kind of covering up most of his beard, just like that. Let's see, let me look at what the comments. Karen says, I agree on the paper pumpkin glue dots. Now you use them too, right? Once you learn how to use something, and you figure out the right way of doing it. I don't know if you guys can hear, but Misty is joining us today. What's the matter, Misty? Yeah? You want to make the paper pumpkin with me? Huh? She's right at my feet. She must be hungry. All right, so this is going to go. I just put some, a um, couple of dimensionals on the back, and it's going to go right here. They have it covering it, but I'm going to put it just below, just like that. I like it. I don't want to cover, cover the Mary. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love this card. And that goes with that um, pretty envelope, right? Let's see. One. I want to take one of everything out. Two and three. So this goes with this, with this envelope, right? Look how pretty that is. Anybody that gets this is going to love it. And they're going to think you went to uh, so much trouble to make it. And it was really quick. All right. So let's go on to the next one. That one was fun. Okay. Ooh. I like the Santa with the sleigh. All right. So we need Santa Claus is coming to town. And then we need the sleigh. So. Um, let me see. I am going to... We already did, let's see, I don't need the Santa anymore because I put him on, I did two already. Okay, so we need the sleigh and we need, 
and they said to and they tell you to put the sleigh at an angle so it fits on your d-block so i'm going to put it down and the best way to get your stamp on your block without stretching the image is to put it down and then it'll, it'll take its own shape because if you try to put it on your block you could end up you know stretching it into a different direction so just put it down and pick it up just like that and then we need santa claus is coming to town so i have another d block i will use for this one. Oh, i suppose i can clean this one right let me clean this one and put this i'll use that one um this goes back misty wants her christmas present you're right karen <laughs> She thinks it is time well, with all the Christmas things you're making. It is true. She's crazy. She's crazy. She's so, still sitting on my feet, but she kind of, she got quiet. She must know that I can't, um, let me clean this real quick. All right, so we need to stamp. We need this one. I went and mixed everything up. Let's see. We need this. Oh, we're going to stamp. Oh, my goodness. We're going to stamp right on this piece. Sometimes I get scared doing that. <laughs> uh, but I think they gave us, I think they might have given you three of those. I didn't, I didn't, I don't remember. I mean four, maybe they gave us an extra one. All right, so maybe they didn't, but we're going to be careful. And as you, oh, did I wash this one? I don't think I washed this one. I don't think I did. So when it's at an angle like this, because you might have just seen me. I let it rock by accident. You just kind of like want to get the ink on the stamp. Try not to rock because since it's going across, you don't want those two points down into your ink pad. And then just stamp them up in the sky. Oh, look how pretty. Let me see what else we had. How many did they give us of those? Maybe they only gave us... I'm thinking of doing... Yeah, they only gave you the three, so try not to mess up. <laughs> um, I am going to try to do all the stamping since I have everything out. And again, I'm, this is a photopolymer stamp set. You need to show us what Misty looks like. Oh, Misty. I don't know if I can get her under the... I, I'm only set up with my camera up above. I will... I'll, I will show you. Maybe I'll post a picture of her on this. Geraldine, how are you? I will post a picture of Misty. Geraldine knows what Misty looks like. Why am I getting a line in the sleigh? Okay. Um, I'll post a picture of Misty one of these days. I'll put it on the Facebook page. Okay. That's that. And now we want to do... We want to stamp Santa Claus is coming to down on this little label that was stitched. It's got like stitching around the edge. I'm going to, they've given you four of those, even though you only need three. So I'm going to pull off all four just in case. And I think I did wash this already. So I'm going to ink that up. And it's like little, it's like little pool party stitching. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Can you see that? Geraldine's describing her. She is so cute. She's got long gray hair and she's so soft. She's got green eyes. She's very cute. Geraldine used to come here for my oh, my card classes and um, she would feed Misty a treat every week. Many, oh no, see that? Let's hope that I can do these two better that's because i'm not standing up doing this let me see if i can just straight up straight down i'm talking i'm not concentrating that's better good so this one didn't work so i can toss that and i have these three all right and i'm just going to put two of them aside so i'm going to make one card and i can put two of these aside oh this is so cute all right so it looks like we only need that little frame. Remember I pulled this apart because I thought I didn't know what, which we needed yet. So we just need the frame. And we're going to put glue dots on. I guess it doesn't matter which side, right? 
kind of bent that a little. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out of the... I'll catch the rest on... Okay, bye, Kareen. Thanks for stopping by. Pretty kit. Can't wait to get... Yes, I, I hope I hope yours comes soon, Kareen. All right, so I'm putting glue dots on the four corners of this. And glue dots on the Santa Claus is coming to town. And remember, you should take your pick tool. Once you get them on your piece, press it down, and that'll make come up, make the backing come off easier. And then, then we're gonna put. I guess we're gonna put this over this. Oh, I'm gonna have to put mine off to the side because my reindeer is kind of. But that's fine. All right. So we're gonna frame this piece. Jeez, I'm trying to. Oh, you know what? I wasn't supposed to put the glue dots there. I was supposed to put glue dots on. Hmm. I don't know what I did with it. It is the striped piece. That's why I didn't. Oh, there it is. Got lost. Slid way over. So this is the piece that gets glue dots. Right? I think so. Okay, so. God, this is confusing. Yes, so, all right, let me do this part first. So this, we're gonna take these off. This is, use your tool to take those off. Come on. Well, they're bouncing everywhere. Hey, they bounced right into place with each other. Okay. And then we're gonna frame this. And I should have centered it better. So when you go to do yours, send to yours better. Um, hmm. I think this is going to go down. This is what we were supposed to put the glue dots on. This, I think, goes on the bottom. Since it's pictures. Oh, I can hear Misty out in the other room. I have one of my friends is here cutting for me. And Misty's probably bugging her. She's out. I have, I use, I have. I have a couple friends that I think I said this earlier that have been coming over to help me with um, cutting for my holiday class because it's a lot to cut and I need the help. All right, so now this is going to go on here. I'm going to have to put mine off a little bit to the right because I don't want to block that reindeer. So center yours, and I will. I'm going to trim off. Um, can you hear Misty? I'm going to trim the edge of this because I don't think it was supposed to overlap, but mine I had to put off to the right. Yeah, and I'm going to put, I'm going to sneak a glue dot underneath this top piece because it just seems like it's popping up just enough to catch that piece. Yeah, so Misty's out there. I can hear her. She's out bugging my friend. Not that my friend cares. She'll probably give her a treat. Okay, that's done. Boy, that was that. So now, now this whole thing is going to go like this. And we're going to put dimensionals. All right, now we're cooking. Where are my dimensionals? Now this gets dimensional so that it's going to pick up. You hear her? <laughs> Geraldine, I miss you. I haven't seen you in so long. I hope you're doing well. Okay. Get rid of this for a sec. Get rid of all these pieces. All right. Oh, look what I did. I put it down upside down. Uh-oh. Misty, stay hello to, say hello to Geraldine. Jerry's on here, too. She used to feed her, too, on the... um at my classes when we had them in person. All right, my holiday class is, um, we have done that in person, but this is the third year I'm doing it online in a private Facebook group. Okay, so that goes down just like that, sent it on your card. And then we need the medium size, right? Yeah, it's right here. A medium size star. Jeez, well, that last card, did I put the star on the, yeah, I did. I just had to make sure I put the glue dot on the right side. 
She's back. What's the matter, Misty? Yeah, are you hungry? All right, so this is going down over here. This is so cute. Make sure, make sure you don't put it um, over the edge because you won't be able to close your card. And now um, I had put those glue dots there, but we're just going to use dimensionals now. So just put those right over those. No big deal. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to even. Goodness. Let me do this before I go any further. Oops. Okay. Now this is going to go down here, like this, over our snowflake and hanging off that red stripe. Okay. See, I would have put, and I'm going to, they don't tell you to put one in the middle, but I am going to, because I feel like, I feel like it sags too much. I'm putting one in the middle. Okay. I ripped the DSP pulling it up, but that's okay because it... Yeah. And I'm going to drop my... I'm going to drop mine a little bit more than they did. Because I want to see that pink stripe in the background there. Okay. Now we need this ho-ho-ho. It says turn it upside down. And we have... There's that. I don't want to lose that. And then we need some glue dots on the back of our ho 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 we do it this way and gosh you're gonna have to find a spot where um i'm gonna put it over here where the glue dots and you should take your pick tool to push up the ends i'll show you what i mean in a second let me get this on here all right so press it down and then i'm gonna peel off the backing with my take your pick tool and I'm gonna hold it up and maybe I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about. Let's see, Let's see if you can see this. See how it's, the little glue dot is hanging over the edge? Can you see that right there? Oh, I don't know. Second card's really cute too. <coughs> Excuse me, yes, I think it is too. So what I'm gonna do is just use my take your pick tool and roll that back on itself. Same thing right here. It's a little bit wide for the letter. And again, this center section, I'm just going to pull it back and the outer edge, just like that, and roll it back so I won't see it. Oh, Misty. And then this is going to go, I think I want my, this back, and this is going to just get centered. Oh, look how pretty this is. Oh, oh my goodness. I hope you guys got this kit. It's so cute. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, and then we're going to put glue dots on the back of this. I don't, I, and um, I don't want to put it anywhere where we'll see it. So um, I think I'm just going to put kind of in the same spot as I did before. I don't think that the very little edge will show up too much, but you usually have to be careful. Yeah, it doesn't really show, but you usually have to be careful with adhesive because you don't want like this one, this here might show up a little. So I'll, I'm going to roll that back so that it's just, it's still on the vellum, but it's not um, overlapping the letters because I don't want you to see that. Not that anybody will look that close to your cards. When you send a card, people aren't looking for your mistakes that you think that you see that are there. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so this is going to go. I hate covering up that snowflake. I'm going to put mine a little higher, just like that. And I guess it's about the same place they put it. And there we have the card, too. Isn't that great? Oh my goodness. All right, last card, then we're done. What time is it? 12.53. Oh, I thought we would be really fast today. Okay, let me wash this. Oh, and that goes with this envelope. Look how pretty this is. Look how pretty. Okay, so that's the second card. Now, what's that? Oh, that was the inside of that square. We don't need that. Okay, last card. Let's see, we already did the stamping of the Santa. Now we need 
It is asking for the tis the season to be jolly. And I punched out that O, but I don't believe we need it. Is this, oh, this is a long one. I don't remember punching out. Oh, it's going on the green. I was thinking, I don't remember. I was about to say, I don't remember punching out. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this one. Oh, see how it's telling us in the directions to put it diagonal? I happen to have, you can do that, but I happen to have the size H block, which is a nice long one. So I'm going to put this down. And if your stamp gets like wobbly, wibbly wobbly, Put it on a line. Um, I don't have any grid paper out, so let me use let me use this line here. Put it on a line. I think this these top of these stamp sets line. If 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 it starts to get stretched out, put it on a line and then put it on your block, and you know that it's not like wibble wobbly. All right, that's a technical term. What are you washing with? Oh, Ellie, I have off to the side. Um, I know a lot of people use the chamois, the Simply Chamois, which is another thing that we have, but this is a stamp and scrub. Um, stamp and scrub. And you have a wet side, and there's a little, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's some little raindrops, little drops of water. See that? I think you can see it. And then over here, there's a sun. So it tells you wet, dry. Well, I just use my um, Dymo label maker and put wet and dry. And then I use this Stampin' Mist. And um, you spray the wet side, right? And then you leave the dry side dry. So now, like, I want to use this so I can clean it over here. You wash it on this side and you dry it on this side. And it really, it really gets in between, you know, that gets the ink off in between everything. So it's really, I like it a lot. You can use the chamois too, but I happen to like using that. All right, so now we're going to stamp on this. So let me bring back my mat. And I am going to put that um, piece of, oh, I don't want to lose my, and this one I'm going to test. So we're going to stamp. I read the directions. I covered my directions. So we've already stamped our Santa. He wasn't lined up very well, but that's okay. Oh, oh my goodness, Donna. <laughs> See why I don't like to keep my, my ink pads open too long? <laughs> I just drop things on them. All right, let me put it over here, and I'm going to ink this sentiment up. Oh, my goodness, I just stuck my thumb in it. That looks good. I'm going to practice. Yay! Okay. So now I am going to stamp it on the green, which is pretty dark, I'm surprised. And it looks like you're just stamping it in the center. All right, and you know, like I told you before, I'm gonna do all the, the stamping. I think, did I have anything else to stamp? I forget if I did, I think I stamped everything else already. Yeah, I did. Might as well do all these. Now they gave us four. So, and I kind of bent them a little, pulling them off. Just be careful when you pull them off. I'm going to stamp them all because this way I'll have them all done and I can just do a nice, easy assembly. And when I pick a name for whoever comments, I'll have one ready. Oh, I'm not even in the image area. Sorry, guys. There's another. That's because I'm so used to pulling things towards me so I can look straight down on them. Number two, and one more. Uh-oh, I have some ink on the back, on the end. I don't want to take the chance. I had a big glob on my jolly, and that's not jolly. Okay. Once I get done with this card, I'm back into the other room to cut punch oh my gosh so much to do sort cards i really love doing it though it's a lot of work but it's really fun all right i'm going to put all these extra ones off to the side put this off to the side and let's see what we have here okay it's just assembly time now so let me put everything off to the side and do i have a better santa let me see because i um i guess i need 
I only need two more, right? And so I have extra. So I had, no, I'm making three cards, so I need six Santa. So I need all of these, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I do. But I'm going to do this guy. This one's a little crooked. I'm going to put him off to the side. Maybe I'll maybe I'll stamp some and, and um, I could stamp them and fussy cut this one. <laughs> it's kind of uneven too. That's okay. That's okay. All right. When you do yours, take your time. All right, so we have this done. We are going to put dimensionals on the back of this piece. This is so pretty. This reminds me of a quilt pattern. I don't know if Geraldine's still here or if... Hi, Nancy. How are you? Oh, Brenda popped in too. Hi, Brenda. How are you too? What is it called again? Oh, this, Ellie? This is called a stamp and scrub. See the words there, stamp and scrub? It's called stamp and scrub, and then you get the stamp and mist to go with it. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, because you asked what I was washing with. Yes, stamp and scrub with the mist. Okay, so back to this. Oh, they said one in the middle. I guess I can put that one down. So I know on here, Jerry and Gerilyn, quilter friends of mine. Does this, doesn't this look like um, a quilt pattern to you guys? If you're still here, I don't know, maybe you guys signed off already. I don't know. But this is going to go over this. I'm just trying to get it on evenly. Doing it at an angle when you're on the camera is hard because you have to kind of, I got to kind of like look at it myself. Okay, I think that's better. All right, so that's down. And now we need the three snowflakes, which I put over here. Oops, let me get rid of this stuff. You got this today? Oh, you caught this. Oh, you're so excited that you caught me online. Oh, yeah, you always say that you catch it at the very end. Well, I'm glad you're here too, Nancy. All right. I'm going to use glue dots. Glue dot. Glue dot. Glue dot. One, two, three. All right. And then I think these go on next. So I'm going to press them down and then flick off the back with my take your pick tool All right these pieces are going to be everywhere okay and it has this medium size one is going down here right around here and a little one's going up here this is so pretty. And another one's going over here. I would say just make sure your glue dot is falling on the solid paper, not into the hole. All right. That's my suggestion. And then it looks like we're putting glue dots on both of these. So glad I figured out how to use these glue dots on the sheet. You could be using, if you wanted to, you could use your um, adhesive runner. Oops, that one went upside down. There. Karen says, stamp scrub on page 149 of the Big Calic Spray Cleaner. That's your Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Karen gave you the info, Ellie. All right. All right. This is this stripe is going to go down first. Mm, I guess right about here, maybe. Maybe. I guess. And then the green sentiment. Put it the right way, Donna is going above it. 
This is so cute. And how fast are these coming together? I know it's taken me an hour. But that's just because I'm talking to you, too. Okay. So now we need the J, the O. Okay. So it says... So we didn't use the O. So we have an O left over. And we're going to take the Santa. And it is telling us to put a couple of dimensionals on the Santa. It says one on the J, but I kind of think that I want to put a second one, but maybe I'll cut it in half because it's saying to put, um, I'm going to put it this way. So the straight edge it says to cut one in half, but you know what? You can use this, these side pieces here, or you can cut it one in half. So saying to use the side pieces on the two sides of the Y like this and then Geraldine are you still quilting and then we're gonna I'm gonna put one it doesn't tell us but I'm putting one on the bottom of the J because I think we should all right and then I think you put the O down oh you think so you might be right let me see I don't know. It doesn't say to. I don't think so, because it doesn't even have the O on here. So I think I'm just putting the Santa down. So I'm going to put him down first, and he kind of covers up. Oops, not that much, Donna. He's going to just, his beard's going to go over the edge a little bit. I don't know, Karen. I think that it just, um, it doesn't show us putting that down, so I'm going to leave it off. I don't think I need it for anything, but they might have given it to us in case you could, you know, if you wanted to make this card with just the word joy, maybe you want to send it out to somebody that, you know, I don't know. You don't want the Santa on there. You can just put the word joy. I think that's why they gave us the O. God, I should be using my take your pick tool. And the Y is going over here. Isn't this cute? Look at that. That is adorable. Cute. I think they should have given us some rhinestones to put on this. Very cute. So let me clean up a little. So if you shop with me, um, you will be getting something this month. I don't know what yet. Put a $35 order in. I'll give you some... Um, Maybe a package of embellishments. How's that? For $35 order. Or any order. $25. $25 order, we'll say. So that is cute. Let's get them all out again. And we'll see what we did. This was a really cute set. I really like this. So this goes with this envelope. Right? Get all this extra stuff out of the way. And this goes with this one. And then we have this one. How cute are those? And the envelopes are so cute, too. Well, that's all I have for you today. Remember, I'm going to put this link in my um, description on here, right here on Facebook. And I'll also put it um, on my YouTube channel because I'll upload this next. So make sure you comment. Fun time spent with you. Bye, Misty. <laughs> You're so cute, Karen. <laughs> um... I'm glad you had fun. I enjoyed you guys. I always enjoy when you guys watch me. It's nice to um, have you all watching. Okay, so this is the link. I will put it on there. And um, if you're watching the replay, make sure you comment so that your name goes into the drawing. I will definitely be pulling those names. Maybe I'll pop on and or I'll just go, you know, make a post and say here are the winners for the last this this week well, I can't do this one until Monday so if you comment between now and Monday if you're on if on if you're on YouTube make sure you subscribe um, and don't forget if you haven't registered yet today's the last day to register for my annual workshop we're not using decorate with happiness we're using trimming the tree because this had gone on un unavailable I'm not sure if it's back yet but I don't want to take the chance that you guys couldn't get it when you needed to so we're using Brightest Glow, Jingle Jingle, and Trimming the Tree. All right, mm -hmm. so I will send you the link. Just email me at DonnaSingleton33 at Yahoo.com. I'll send you the link to register if you're not on my email list. If you're not on my email list, 
Oh, we do have bling. Hey, these things go on and I completely forgot. All of a sudden, I, they must have been under something. I didn't notice where they put them. Oh, like this little dot I was supposed to, that's supposed to be reminding me, I guess. That little dot on all of them. Well, I will add those later so that I'm not keeping you too much longer. So have a great weekend and um, I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you for joining me today.